Thanks for joining us today for the screen repair. Well, not the actual screen, but the um, the hardware, the the brackets, the brackets that mount to the actual bottom plastic uh, cover. And uh, the model is um, Lenovo G770. So this is what we're working on today. Um, I got this laptop from a friend of mine. He was gonna start working on it but you know for some reason it didn't get to uh, finish so um he asked me if i can uh, look into it um so it came out like this so let me just move the parts to the side i'm just gonna show you what i found i removed the actual just get this out of the way and once I checked now let me just uh, try to get a better shot and you can see the bits of plastic are in there and these they come from the actual where the screws go in onto the bottom base the cover, the bottom cover, so this one is cracked. See half of it is there on the other one, same thing. Same thing happened on this side. You can see it. You can see it. It just broke off. There you go, see? Completely broken off. Some on the other side. See them? One of them is cracked, you can see it. It's actually, you can see them. So, at the beginning, I said maybe I can drill through um, the actual holes and put longer screws with a plate at the bottom just so I don't have to replace the whole, you know, bottom case, uh, the plastic cover. But, um, and then I, I said, you know what? Um, I went on eBay and actually found them um, coming from China. The whole bottom piece, which I'm going to bring right now so you can see it. So let me show you um, the replacement that I bought from eBay. I'll put the link in the description, but it's an eBay listing, so it might, you know, and um, the total price I paid with taxes and everything was $35.93. So for 36 bucks, I got the whole bottom piece. Which, you know, it just made more sense for me to do because I was gonna, you know, like I was saying, I was gonna try to, um, you know, drill this all the way through and put um, super thin uh, bolts that will go all the way through and then on this side, you know, put a plate pieces. So I figured, listen, this is $36. You can see it, it's pretty, uh, and you can see for $36, it's how much I paid on eBay. You see, you get to replace the whole bottom, but obviously I have to remove every component and move it to this side. So uh, that's what we'll be doing today. I'm going to start with the small pieces. I have never taken apart this laptop. And I honestly didn't even go online to get an idea of what to start with. But it uh, shouldn't be that complicated. Screw the motherboard. As I'm checking the screws for the motherboard, they seem to be the same length. These are the same length. This one is not, it's a shorter one. Actually, 
Yes. This one here is a shorter screw. This one that's holding the, I believe this is the uh, right click, left click, yep, the, the trackpad. You gotta remove that tape. That tape was holding it down also. You gotta move the Wi Fi card. Once that Wi Fi card was removed, again, the CPU, that stuff, all came, you know, the CPU fan, it all came disassembled. He had already taken it out. So it's kind of like I'm starting in the middle. So these cables, you just pull on the tab and they come out. There is no, uh, it's not like the ones you flip up. No, you just pull back. To remove this one, this is the tab you pull to release it. You pull this one, and then it comes up. So you don't have to. So we got the trackpad buttons. We got this I'm not sure what it is it's a chip or it doesn't even say it this one will do it afterwards we just disconnected it by pulling on the tab these cables they have you know a path where they go so what I'll do just so I don't get confused what goes where so this one and this one here, I'm going to take them off, transfer them to the new bezel. This way I'll have some type of um, an order of, you know, uh, of how to do things. to the camera so these are the pieces I took so we just took them from the other one from the original one and put them here this one is gonna plug into the motherboard Like I said earlier, this one, these cables, just pull on the tab on top, and just pull away from the connector. See, it comes out. I'm not gonna put any pressure. It's sitting on top of the motherboard. I just wanna show you what, what I'm doing. See, it goes in there, one screw here, one screw there. I only had one screw, but I'm pretty sure 
the other screw is somewhere. Because he gave me a bag that had a whole bunch of screws. So this one I'll find it later. But so now, so far, we transferred one, two, three. Now we're gonna do this one. This one here. We're gonna transfer this one. Again, like I said, these cables just Hold the tab and pull away from the connector on the motherboard. This is for the mic and the uh, headphones. Okay, just because, you know, this, um, I had to be a little persistent with it, kind of push it, so, because, you know, the quality, I guess, um, this one had, you know, it has to go in, right, so I had to kind of push that way to make sure these, both of them, went in all the way, and then pull down, so I can align it right here, and then push down. So now, even without the screws, it's it's holding, it's holding. So you have it lined up, you know, here to put the memory card, and here you have your uh, mic and headphones. Next one, we're gonna do this one here. This one is for the SATA, for the hard drive. Uh, no, no, this one is for the uh, CD one. So let me see if you can see it right here now that we flipped the motherboard over. So we have two cables. This one goes through the power this is where the power adapter goes so we gotta remove the power here and this one is the display cable and uh, that's about it so I'm gonna remove these okay so there is no tab that you pull to pry out but you have to hold it obviously don't pull from the cables Hold the white part and just pull away from the uh, from the connector. So just make sure you don't pull from the cables because you might end up ripping the cables out. And it just um, I'll, I'll show you how it snaps. Display displays the same way. Just um, hold on to the actual. Um, the plug itself and just pull away try to be um, even not pull just from one side but have your you know fingers all the way across and just pull in even motion and this one you see it just it feeds you see it feeds right into that that's the power plug and this is the display plug right here so they don't have any special you know clip holding them down you just pull on them, but just be firm. Um, I'm gonna put the motherboard aside, and I'm gonna move the. Uh, this is the power adapter. It goes in there for the charging. It's uh, held by just an adhesive. And uh, you can see 
this is where the adhesive goes. You can, uh, let me see if it's sticky. Yeah, it's still sticky, so you can just put it back in there. So this goes like so. I uh, see it's not holding that tight. Maybe I'll put on um, some type of a glue. And this one just slides down in there, just like that. And then uh, just you have the path right there. The Wi-Fi, these are the Wi-Fi cables. They go in here and then under you have a path and then they will connect. The Wi-Fi module, the car goes in there and then they are connected, connected into it. So I think I'll reuse this one even though it's not, the adhesion is gone. So, well. It's not the only thing broken. I guess this one is broken too. But if I can just get a closer shot, you see these, they just broke off. Those were the screen hinges. That's where they mount. See them right there. Both of them. This one, I don't know if you can see it, but um, it's cracked all the way down. So yeah, this is gone. Now we have the new one. Okay. Let's do this. So we're gonna start with I'm gonna start with the Wi-Fi. Okay, so This one is different. This one has, let me just zoom in. It has a gray retainer, so you have to pull it. It's not like the other ones. Okay. So again, put these cables first before you lay it flat. This one here goes right in here. Again, it just slides in. Yeah, it does. It does, I'm surprised. Usually expect them to be a little off here and there. Just putting these cables, you gotta make sure they uh, You want them properly in their in their channel, so when you put, sometimes you could put a cover on and end up, you know, making one of them. gonna put back the parts that were given to me um, already taken out uh, put them back together and uh, see how that goes uh, we're gonna put the uh, Wi-Fi see the cables they're out below this 
This is the Wi-Fi. The prongs will be on top. Gonna install the hard drive. So it's best if you do it this way because when I pushed it, it wasn't all the way in. So do it this way so you, you can align it correctly with the plug. So now I put the cover back on. Um, it's, it's not fully um, clipped and uh, screwed on. So we're just gonna, I'm just gonna plug these two cables because they are. Uh, one is for the power button and one for the uh, trackpad. If you're putting the installing the motherboard and uh, you can't put screws in everywhere because some of the screws come from the bottom and they um, they screw no, they screw on onto this. Um, so um, you know they um, you can't put I think it, I only put like four or five on the motherboard from the top. Now once I put this cover and then uh, once I clip it, you will see all the. Uh... So I'm not gonna clip it. I'm just gonna put it enough so I leave space so I can pry it out when I need, when I need to finish. Um, I forgot to put the RAM, so I put the RAM, the RAM back on. Now, uh, all right. So let's see what happens. Hey, bingo. Screen is back on. Everything is good. So you can see it. So now I'm um, just going to flip it. Obviously, I'm going to turn it off. We do not want any issues. I'm just covering the uh, my friend's email. Okay. For now, see when I try with my fingers, it's really hard, so that's why I had to leave a, a gap. But I'm not gonna take it all the way out because it's just a pain to put it back on. Um, I hope he's gonna be okay with that. I mean, this is what you get for $36, right? Um, so now we're gonna put all the screws. I just got off the phone with my friend and uh because when i was trying to put the keyboard in i realized that the locking clip it's supposed to be a gray clip here that you lift and you put the keyboard ribbon and then you lock it back down um he said that it, that somehow it snapped when he removed the keyboard so uh, at this point um so i'm actually gonna use it's a piece of plastic it's that material they use to cover um, electronic components. So I'm gonna try to use this to wedge it right in here between the ribbon, the bottom part, and the actual contacts. 
of the connector. So let's see if that works. All right. I think this way you can see what I'm doing. All right. So just make sure it's aligned correctly, the right connectors. You can tell because it, it goes into, um, it's got little edges that it feeds into. Okay, see I think that's gonna work. Because remember, this keyboard is not going anywhere once it's in place. Laptop, it's starting up. Alright, home to the truth. I'm gonna hit the enter key. Psst. And that's a winner. So that should do it. Um, yeah, I'm gonna be posting more videos. Uh, I know I've been on my A. Should be putting out um, when it gets a little warmer uh, some stuff that I need to do my to my car. Guys, if you can uh, just uh, do me a big favor and uh, subscribe to the channel, just help me out. <laughs>